We're out here to see if I've got my large format camera working. And we're getting a chance to see some areas that I've never been in before and I'm actually kind of liking what I see here. It's starting to rain. So I kind of just kind of forced a few shots. <laughs> It got rained out yesterday and so I decided I was going to come back out here do a few more photos. I didn't uh, bring Nori today. I left, went ahead and left her home. So I noticed this, this uh, composition or this possible composition out yesterday and I really wasn't comfortable bringing her to this location. It's a straight drop off right there. It's, it's a little unnerving and I just I would just be worried about her. So. So today she, she's going to have to miss and it's, uh, it's my loss. I really enjoy having her out here, but I just can't risk her safety for a photograph. Yeah, mine's okay, you know. And it's still a good chance of rain, so I went ahead and, and left the uh, 4x5 wooden field camera at home and we're, we're back out here with the uh, Nikon Digital D810. The old Nikon D810. In this first composition I'm making here, I noticed this rock yesterday and I, I thought it was kind of interesting. It's, it's kind of in a weird spot. I'm getting a little more sky than I want. I'm having a hard time getting an angle that, that I like. But I'm going to go ahead and take some shots here because I'm pretty close and maybe I can crop it a little bit when I, when I get it on the computer. I kind of like this shot here, the scene, with this long limb that's <laughs> growing out here to the side, kind of growing over the trail. It's kind of cool. I've uh, switched to a 50 millimeter lens so I can get less sky in. Right now the sky is kind of bright and white. It's kind of dark in here, so to, to have, uh, not to have the eye pulled out of the frame, there might be a little bit of, of light color up there, but it, it, with the 50, it, it eliminates a lot of the sky. The sky is really not important in the shot. I just like that that big arch, arching lining is holding up that that huge branch there. It's pretty cool. Looks like we're getting a little mist blowing in here. I might, this might add a little bit to the scene. I'm going to take a few shots, another few frames. This mist, it's it's a nice thing to have. <laughs> it it kind of add, softens the scene a little bit. Kind of gives a little more atmosphere. It's, it's not real dramatic. It's pretty subtle. The sun's behind me. I don't know if you can see me, but yeah, it's pretty subtle. It's uh, but it, it is adding a little bit to the to the scene. So I've got all these woods that I can explore over the next few years and, and look for different things, different seasons. When you find something fairly close to where you live that you you weren't aware of, it, it's it's something to celebrate. As a photographer I'm always looking for new locations that I can get to when the conditions are really good or different. That don't have a ton of people. And this is just far off the meat and track, just out just a little bit far enough that I don't think there's gonna be a ton of people in here. I haven't the last two times I've well today and yesterday I haven't seen anybody back here, which is pretty cool. We're already getting close to the end of the autumn. It's getting to the tail end of it here. It's such a short season. 
I feel like I've hardly had a chance to do anything in it. Hardly any photographs. That's why another reason I wanted to come out this morning is I, I really needed to <laughs> try to get at least one more shoot in before, uh, before autumn is over. That, that time between summer and winter it can be really short here in the Northwest. This boulder caught my attention, kind of out here in the middle of the woods. This nice rounded moss covered structure with these trees, dark colored trees, vertical, kind of going off in the distance. I thought that kind of a neat combination. Really, really like it back here. I really like the contrast in these trees. They're really, really dark. And back through here, we got lots of nice fall color. And I think there might be something out this direction with just the trees themselves. Hard to beat autumn photography. Even if you don't get something good, the experience of being out in, in this autumn color is uh, a reward enough. So I'm going to make my way back to the car. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I'm going to run out of breath. So next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. I know that wasn't too graceful. <laughs> I'm getting tilled for this crap. <laughs> yeah, that was a graceful move right there, wasn't it? <laughs>